Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs. My name is Phyllis, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and ask that you please consider subscribing by tapping the subscribe button, click the bell and the select all to be notified of all future videos that I upload. And to my faithful established viewers, thank you so much for your continued support in watching my videos. Here on my channel, I share DIYs, home decor, Goodwill thrift hauls, and more. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be recreating this ginger jar with my own little twist. The one that just passed was under another name and it was priced at $105. This one is under white rope ginger jars, but they call it was $35. This one I saw on Pinterest and it's popular, but sold by different companies. This young lady for factory direct craft, I watched her video on how to create the nautical inspired fishnet mason jar, but I was focused more on the rope style and I will be using that to create mine. Here I'm in a flea market where I saw several lamps that were like ginger jars. And I ended up purchasing one. I'm going to go back and get this one. And I did purchase this blue one. Um, I took it apart. I'm gonna keep it blue because it matches my office at my home. And then as my daughters and I were walking out of the thrift store, I saw this one. If I were to get this one, I wouldn't change it. I would leave it just as is. I would just disassemble it and just leave it as a faux ginger jar. And then here's one that is shorter and wider. But the one that I did actually purchase is this one. This lamp was $5. And I took it back to my daughter's apartment. I disassembled it. Here it is as a lamp. I disassembled it meaning I took the cord and, and the hardware out and created my own faux ginger jar. Right here, I have rope that I am taking apart because it is too wide to do what I want. So I'm just separating it into two. And I'm getting ready to form this like fishnet is what I call it. Again, the way to do this is in the video that I will have linked in the description box. Now what I will be doing here is taking two of the strands and just making a knot and I'll be doing that to all of the strands. And it's better to do the knot this way than to just tie a knot like you would with a shoestring. This is the best way to do it. And again, I followed the same exact identical steps of the young lady in the video that I have linked in the description box. Here is one that is done and then the clip that is coming up is showing you how I've done all the strands with the knot all the way around. And what I'm showing you here is I'm going to be taking the strand from one and the strand from the other right next to each other and just making a knot and I'll be doing that so on and so on all the way around. And this is what I've done and I'll be doing that again so here you'll see I've done one two rows I'll have three rows of these knots I'm going to take and do the same step all the way down and here it is I went as far as I can I did measure the rope to make sure I had enough to cover the lid of this jar and what I did was I cut the excess off so that I can just glue what was left under so that just the knot will be showing. Now I wish I had left more excess of the rope so it wouldn't be so short but I made it work. And I also glued some of the knots to the top so they will not be moving. And here this is where I'll be showing you where I glued a few of the knot knots to the top like here you can see the glue there and I did just about every one of the knots that's just on the lid as well as the 
rim of the lid and again that's because I didn't want it to be moving around I wanted to secure it now here I did the same process as I did to the top to the body and only went halfway and what I'm doing now is just twisting um, the remaining that is left and I'll be securing those like I'm doing here I'm securing it to the lamp I'm twisting it and securing it with the hot glue like I'm doing here I'm letting it cool off some because it's very hot then I twist it and when I do that all the way around you will see that I will come and then secure each one to the lamp and here I have done that I have secured them to the lamp I'm going to show you one that I have not done so I can just for the recording of this video purposes so you can see what I've done I'm going to lay it on its side here I'm holding the phone with one hand so it's kind of hard to find what I'm trying to record here I'm putting the glue on the lamp and then I'm just laying down this yarn that I twisted while doing this I'm just creating this as I go I did not have a pattern or plan in mind I just knew I wanted the look and because I did not cut the rope long enough I could only go halfway. I had enough to cut it long enough, but I didn't do the measurements properly. So um, I just made it halfway. And you're going to see how I'm going to make up for the difference from where the rope ends all the way down. I'm going to also cover the top, as I was just showing you, and the bottom. I'm saying that I'm going to go around and around and around. And here is where I started. I made a knot on the rope that's in my hand I made a little knot and I glued it down that's just to hold it so that I can twist it around and I think this is one of the yes this was one of the I would say the most time-consuming and sort of difficult only because I want I was trying to get it straight to go all the way around it was kind of hard and then I found that it was best for me to turn the base upside down to get the rope to go around as evenly as possible instead of having it lopsided, you know, one side high and the other side low. I found it was best to turn the vase upside down, put the glue, and then lay the rope on top of the previous one that I've glued. And here I'm almost done going all the way around. I would say that this took me about two, two and a half hours maybe three but at least two hours to complete this and here to finish it I did a knot pulled it tight cut that and then I just put glue on it to glue the knot to the bottom and the same thing that I did on the bottom I am going to do to the lid the same process and here I'm gonna let you see the inspiration again you see how it looks like little knots this is the inspirational picture that I got off Pinterest and here is the finished look I'm contemplating on whether I want to spray paint this white I'm not sure I'm hesitant because I don't want um, drippings from spraying to mess up the vase part but I liked the way it came out and I really enjoyed creating my version of the ginger jar for my inspiration and I want to thank you all for stopping by enjoy to the end
Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. And until next time, bye-bye.